Good evening. Today I want to talk about a company which my family has owned for a long time. We have been holding this company for more than 40 years. The company I am talking about is Larson & Tubro. Larson & Tubro is one of India's finest companies and run by a professional management. At once upon a time, it used to be one of the largest cement producers in India. Larson & Tubro was once a target of takeover by the Dhirubhai Ambani group. But Dhirubhai Ambani and his sons, who were both united at that time, could not make much headway. They sold their stake out to Aditya Brilla group. Kumar Mangalam Brilla and his mother took board seats in Larson and Tubro. Over a period of time, they wanted to exit, since they could not take complete control of this company. The idea that was arranged through a complicated arrangement was that LNT Sumant would go to them in exchange for their shares. They were very happy and they merged it with their existing cement divisions to form Ultratech Cements, India's largest cement company. The story of LNT is a story of two foreigners who came and worked in India and built this magnificent company. LNT along the way has had several divisions. AM Nayak has been running this company for more than a decade. AM Nayak has proved the list of subsidiaries. He has sold out to a lot of companies, subsidiaries, which were not really giving results, and he used it to unlock value. Today, three of the large listed companies, last listed subsidiaries, do give most of Larson & Tubro's value. They are LNT Finance, LNT Infotech, and LNT Technology Services. The last two are IT companies. LNT Infotech was in the news recently because it did a hostile takeover of Mindtree. The Mindtree promoters were not willing to sell, but the owner of Coffee Day Siddhartha was in serious need of money and he was one of the largest shareholders of Mindtree. He decided to sell at an obscene high price, much above the market price, to LNT Infotech. LNT with its deep chest swallowed mine tree and is a subsidiary of LNT Infotech. They also recruited Debashish, a professional from Cognizant, to run the company. Both LNT Infotech and LNC Technologies are doing very well in the market. The former is trading at around 6,500 rupees and the later at 5,250 rupees. The value of Larson and Tubro is mainly from these three companies. Why is it so? For people who have been following Larson and Tubro for a long time, know it as an infrastructure company. They are one of India's biggest construction companies. They build roads, they build power plants, they build dams, they build nuclear reactors, they also promote real estate. So they do a wide gamut of activities in building and construction. All these other subsidiaries were actually built using the money generated from the construction business. So LNT's construction business is at its core. And now they have also an LNT Hyderabad Carbon Services because they have their construction and infrastructure building has reached even infrastructure for oil and other refineries. Why is such a large construction company? which is a blue chip and which has relatively very high corporate governance standards struggling to make a mark. That was the great mystery. While the market has moved from 13,000 to 18,500 in the last one year, LNT has declined from 1,900 to 1,800. While the market has shot up, LNT has returned a net loss for one year. That is net loss in terms of money made for the investor. Why is LNT struggling? Yesterday, in Business Standard, A.M. Nayak gave an interview. In that interview, A.M. Nayak criticized the way the government is now doing tenders because the government tenders go strictly on L1 basis. L1 meaning the lowest bidder gets the contract. Nasser and Tubro is one of the largest Indian companies. So, with its inherent cost, Larson & Tubro cannot be the cheapest always. Larson & Tubro 
has brings to that whole table a lot of technological powers and expertise which is not available with its smaller rivals the smaller rivals are competing with a giant and they do not have the capacity and the talent pool that larsen and tubro possesses this means lnt has lost out all the major contracts that have been floated in the last two years nayak in a recent interview said that this has to change the government has to change its e tendering policies in such a way that weightage is given to other factors than only considering l1 builders this practice of using l1 creates a lot of trouble in the future because people are very eager to lift the order and they don't have the capacity or the money to invest in finishing the project fully in chennai metro phase 1 the drilling contract was given to a russian company and an indian company had a joint venture with it what happened is when the russians found that boring through a tunnel was very difficult and the machinery required was much of higher quality this meant operating costs would go up overnight without even informing the joint venture partner the russian company left but if lnt had this contract you won't have possibility of lnt not fulfilling its obligation and disappearing overnight so what mr nayak is saying is that l1 cannot be the only sole consideration for deciding whether a company should get an order or not there should be other mitigating factors that need to be considered anyway in the last 19 large projects issued by india larsen and tubro has backed none but still lnt is a profitable company and its 60% of its book orders is those of projects which they take outside india lnt has a huge presence in the middle east market and these represent a more profitable way of doing business so what mr naik said is he is not bothered 60% of the orders that lnt construction is now building is all nri business outside india and nothing to do with india india is thus losing the services of one of its largest conglomerates thank you for watching be rich it's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me i have written two books in english the alchemy of money and ordinary stocks extraordinary profits these books are published by us and are ready if you want to procure a copy send us a message to the whatsapp number given below and my team would respond to you if you want an amazon kindle copy you can click the link below finally those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish@gmail.com once again i thank you for your support if you like this video press the subscribe button of my channel hit the like button and turn on the bell notification नमस्कार मेरा नाम आनंद श्रीनिवासन है और मैं एक पर्सनल फाइनेंस कंसल्टेंट हूँ मैं दो यूट्यूब चैनल चलाता हूँ पर्सनल फाइनेंस के बारे में एक मनी पेज तमिल में है मेरे बहुत से दोस्त बोले कि मैं हिंदी में एक चैनल शुरू करूँ तो मैंने एक पैसा बोलता है नाम का एक हिंदी चैनल शुरू किया है मैं पर्सनल निवेश के बारे में ही बात करूंगा आप उसको सब्सक्राइब करें अपने दोस्तों को शेयर करें अगर आप हिंदी नहीं जानते हैं तो पैसा करें जो आपके दोस्त हिंदी जानते हैं उनको सब्सक्राइब करने के लिए आग्रह करें धन्यवाद नमस्कार